What's going on, Geminites? It's your boy, Gem Mint. We're back with another advanced overview of a Marvel Omnibus. This time we have The Incredible Hulk by Peter David, Volume 2. Now, I say it's an advanced look, but this is coming out on October 28th, and based on the schedule of the channel, this might come out the day of or the day after. I didn't realize I had a box of Marvel Omnibus just sitting in there waiting for a what's in the box. So anyway, big shout out to David Gabriel and Marvel Comics. Before we jump into the overview, check out the giveaway we got going on. On our road to 100K, we're doing some milestone giveaways every 2,500 subscribers. So this is phase two. We're giving away this Thanos bus by Sideshow Collectibles once we hit 95,000 subscribers. Make sure you're subscribed to the channel, hit the like button, drop a comment, and stay tuned to the end of the video, and I'll give you some more details on the giveaway. As you can see, Volume 2 matches very well with Volume 1 with similar spines. Uh, volume 1, I believe I got the direct market variant. This one would be the regular cover, and then we'll show the direct market variant once we do the overview. So just like Volume 1, you have two cover options, and you have what the book collects on the back. And let's go over that really quick, because these overviews are not a review of the actual story. It's more of a look at the composition of the book, the build, what it collects, and so forth. So, this book collects The Incredible Hulk 369 through 400, Annual 16 through 18, X Factor 76, and material from Marvel Holiday Special, issue number 2 from 1991. As always, when you're reading these omnibus, you want to take the dust jacket off. There's no reason to keep that on while you're reading the book. Uh, very nice graphic art on the front and back. Literally, it's the front and back of the Hulk's dome. Uh, and the actual uh, book where that's from is in the back that we'll take a look at. But it's like a poster book or something. Anyway, the book opens up. It has a little bit of a thicker paper stock than with the Thanos Infinity Saga omnibus. Uh, it, the pages don't feel as loose and as flimsy. And as you can see, the binding is immaculate on this book. You can go through this book uh, without... Uh, any resistance from the hardcover, the uh, spine does lift up in the middle here, giving yourself some give and allowing for flat pages uh, with minimal to no gutter loss. It's getting more and more rare that we even see Omnibus with gutter loss these days, and for that we're very thankful. Let's take an overhead shot of the book and the interior. This Omnibus has 1,048 pages and has a $125 cover price. The cover of this dust jacket is by Dale Keown, who also did the direct market variant, which we'll take a look at in a minute. Again, here's another look at the spine, a little bit closer up here, and what it contains in the back. We already went over the issues, but very cool to be able to see all of the covers on the back. I think that's a really good look. Some standouts for me as a, a key issue collector was uh, Hulk 371 here, which had three printings. And here's a look at what the direct market variant is with that kind of homage to issue one. The inside of the dust jacket talks about Peter David's run on the Hulk and where we're at during this saga with Hulk uh, becoming, you know, Professor Hulk. Mixing the brains with the brawn for the best of both worlds. And then we have a biography on the creators, Peter David and Dale Keown. Again, love the artwork on the front of this dust jacket. We'll make sure to look at the bonus material in the back so you can see where that originated from. And the back of his head here. Let's take a look at it. So, got the interior pages. Uh, awesome kind of, uh, not splash cover, but you know what I'm saying. Uh, right here are the creators uh, and the people who contributed to this book. You get your table of contents. And then we jump in right to Hulk 369. So, let's flip through here. Awesome Grey Hulk. You know, this is after the McFarlane run, who, as much of a fan of McFarlane I am, I just never got into his Hulk, man. I definitely like uh, Dale Keown's Hulk much better. I think he has a much cleaner look. As you can see here. All right, moving forward. And then here is the cover for this omnibus uh, from issue 376. Hulk with his brown suit with that deep V. We got some abomination action here. This is like my favorite era of comics. This has got to be what, late 80s? I'm more of a 90s guy, but uh, that looks pretty 90s. <laughs> Hulk with his uh, 
rocket gun and all the ammunition. Here's the X Factor issue. Look at this classic Hulk battles. This must be for, yeah, there we go. Issue 393, uh, 30th anniversary issue, homage to Hulk 1. The, this is also the direct uh, market variant for the Omnibus. And it has all of these classic Hulk battles, Hulk vs. Thing. You had Hulk vs. Wolverine. So kind of like, um, uh, almost like an annual, an oversized anniversary issue. Here, then we have an annual here. A little Defenders action here with Doctor Strange. You got Mr. Fix It, but Greenskin up against Doc Ock. That's my secret, Look at this double page here. And let's see what bonus material we have here. Looks like some. Awesome pinups right here. Hulk vs. Rhino. That's cool. The Marvel Holiday Special. Here we go. Now, I think I said 317 or 71. 377 was the issue that had three printings, with that third printing cover being uh, an expensive variant. Now, I think they only printed the second printing in this book for whatever reason. Also, the second printing of issue 393 and 400. Many faces of Hulk, that's cool. A little trivia. Oh, here's the third printing, right? Or is that the first? I don't know. You know, we should use this for our live show trivia. <laughs> uh, this was also in the uh, Thanos Infinity Saga omnibus. Some house ads here. Some advertisements. We're gonna get that poster book soon. Swimsuit edition. Remember we used to do that in the 90s? <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, the poster magazine. So this is what they used for the actual hardcover. The Sam Keith wizard covers. That's awesome. Wizard number six ripping up the wizard uh, hat. Got the 1992... Well, 1990 through 92 Marvel Universe trading cards. Just the Hulk cards. Love that. And then here we have some interior pages, some more variants. Looks like Ed McGinnis, right? Yeah. So we have an afterword by Peter David himself. And these are kind of like the recolored versions that were used for the trade paperback and for this omnibus. I love this cover. It gives you kind of like a horror vibe, right? All right, that's it. All right, guys, in order to be eligible for the giveaway, you have to be a subscriber to the channel. So go ahead and hit the notification bell, hit the like button on this video, and most importantly, drop a comment below. Once we hit 95,000 subscribers, I'm gonna pick a random video where I promoted this giveaway and use a random YouTube comment generator to draw a winner. You could be any age, any location, we will ship this worldwide, so go ahead and comment down below to enter. All right, guys, so that's just a quick overview of The Incredible Hulk by Peter David, Omnibus, Volume 2. So cool to see Marvel go ahead and give some fan service with collecting this run. I hope to see more Peter David Omnibus in the future, specifically Spider-Man 2099, one of my all-time favorites. Let me know what you think about the Omnibus in the comments down below, and thanks for watching. Stay minty fresh. Peace. It's getting cold outside, guys. Make sure you check our Teespring link in the description below. We have all types of hoodies in different colors and different designs. You can take a look and we have the Geminites hoodie. We have the King Gempire hoodie. We have the Death Row Records homage. The Cash Money Records homage. We even have the Bone Thugs and Harmony uh, homage. You can get the Approved by Gemin Authority, the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles swipe, and I just recently included the two old school logo designs. Again, you can click on these hoodies. They're not just in black. They have all different colors, all different sizes, and Teespring will ship worldwide.